Welcome back, Scorpio, to your spread. Welcome to your random hour. So we are going to choose your crystal. We are going to choose your incense. We have candles lit. We have the area of purifying as we speak. Purification. Speaking of purification, let's go ahead and get out our purification incense. What I'm also picking up, Scorpio, is that at this time, you could be transforming into balancing yourself, okay? Because my coin is upright for no as far as being next to the balanced candle, all right? I do feel like you are currently in transformation of becoming balanced okay i do feel like you are seeking some type of equal as well you want some type it's like you want liberty of equalness stand up for your right that's what i'm getting all right so let's choose your incense Dragon's blood. All right. So I feel like right now you are strong or you are finding strength. You are finding strength in what you were dealt. That's what I'm getting. You are finding strength in the hand you were dealt. But you're doing it different way I get you're not being your reactive way you're presenting a different type of reaction and it's not what people are used to actually I'm gonna keep this right here for now it's not what people are used to, okay? Dragon blood. Let's get out of my books. All right, so dragon blood represents, helps connect with core. Exactly. I feel like right now, Scorp, you are really trying to connect with self. You are trying to connect deep down rootedly I feel like there's some type of rooted issue or there has been some type of rooted issue Scorpio that needed to be plucked up okay I do feel like it has something to do with a divine masculine energy but they're not standing in a divine energy I feel like you it's like your your energy right now, Scorpio, is very strong. It's very demanding and it's in a divine masculine type of state. You are no longer accepting BS. Your energy is powerful right now, okay? You are full of creativity, all right? Now, what I'm also getting is that this past person could come back towards you, Scorpio, because passion is here and fertility is here. Fertility. Why do I fertilize? Cleansing from sin. Scorpio, this past person, again, I'm getting they were dark or they held dark traits towards, towards them. They held dark traits towards them. Okay, what I'm also getting is that this, this past person of yours, Scorpio, could have probably dealt with someone that was also dark 
because again, like I told you, my black obsidian crystal did come out. Black obsidian crystal is a form of crystal to protect you also from spell work. All right, so with that cleansing from sin, passion, and fertility in there. Okay, I'm getting a few things. In your energy, there could have been a child that was developed between you and your past person. There was a lot of passion between you and your past person. Cleansing from sin, this past person could have held some dark traits towards them. Um, but what I'm also picking up is that they could have they could have some attachment to someone that was before you. Okay. What I'm also getting is that there was a lot of spiciness between you two. You know what I'm getting? This could be new and old. Like, I'm getting two energies here, Scorpio. So I believe that you could have someone old in your energy and someone new in your energy, okay? Because someone here is very deep warm and spicy and they they like are your remedy because dragon blood represents a natural remedy for external issues so i believe that someone new is kind of like a remedy to you this person is a deep thinker or they present deep thoughts because of the things that they project so you like know that this person is a deep thinker or you could potentially be developing into a more natural being scorpio maybe in your past you tried to keep up with what was popping you know Nowadays, you are finding satisfaction in being more natural and excluding yourself from what everyone else is doing. All right. Again, your third chakra is being activated. I believe you have been through some things, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. But these things have taught you some very valuable lessons. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with the incense, all right? While we're at it, let's go ahead and roll your number because I want to see what your energy is like. And we're going to see about my lucky penny as well. So for the penny, you are upright. So I feel like your head is towards the sky and your mental is clearing itself for takeoff as far as giving you the tools you need for the right direction. I feel like your head is on right, Scorpio. Your lessons have brought you to the light. All right. And your number starting off is seven. So, you are in a very lucky type of energy, Scorpio. Number seven also represents full, complete war and protection okay again i feel like it's two energies here once again scorpio um there is someone from your past and there's someone new that is coming in your energy this new person could make you feel complete make you feel whole make you feel protected this old person could have brought a lot of war to your door a lot of drama, a lot of unnecessary activities, just a lot of different 
bodies. Maybe this person was promiscuous or for the collective. They are for everyone. That's the type of energy that I'm picking up as well. And I'm also picking up that this person, this person, if they have or if they are tight with their family, their family believes everything that they say. So they're always going to take their side, which causes more issues because it's like even if this person is wrong, they're sticking by their family member, which is messed up, but that's what I got. All right, so now let's get on into it, score. So let's say our prayer <clears throat> and then we're going to pick your crystal all right and then we're going to jump on into your random out and see what we're going to be talking about and yes i will be using my gloves today guys because yeah i'm not getting my cards dirty okay so let's begin The father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, please send me nothing but positive, encouraging messages for a Scorpio so that they can utilize it within their lives, Father. I pray that if there is any negative energy lingering around, Father, that you eliminate it and only bring forth positivity, Father. I pray that you cleanse my area, my being, my space, and all items used in today's message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. So we are definitely going to burn this with your dragon blood incense. Uh-oh. Gosh darn it. I just broke that. All right. So um, purification incense just broke in half. So I believe that you are breaking ties, Scorpio, with something that was not purified. Something that was tainted something that could not be i get um cleansed and you realize this and you are deciding to separate yourself from this particular energy okay and this was a rooted situation but you have broken free or you are going to okay so let's go ahead and like these and then we're going to pick your crystal so the theme guys for today is calling in your Egyptian cat. All right. You know that Egyptian cats were a symbol of protection. So, Scorpio, once again, I feel like you are in some type of... I get defense mode, too. All right. Meaning that... If your environment has been complicated or has been compromised, you are cleaning that up. Whether that be you are relocating, moving swiftly without notice. That's what I'm getting as well. But you are being divinely protected, A, and divinely guided. I don't, Ma just popped up in my head. Ma is a divine cat in the Egyptian times, okay? So again, Scorpio. I do believe that at this time you are in your divine energy and you are in your 
One foot in, one foot out. I just got that. You are one foot in, one foot out, Scorpio. But here's your thing. I get you are one foot in with being compromisable towards a situation from the past. But you're one foot out about being compromisable because of issues that just can't seem to get themselves under control or Consistent problems that just cannot seem to be eliminated. And at this time, Scorp, what I'm feeling is that you really just want your peace. You really don't want to be bothered. You really don't want the extra. Whatever you've been through, Scorpio, you 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 have vowed to yourself that you are not going to go through that again. And you're standing on that. You are definitely standing in your masculine divine energy right now, Scorpio. And you're not compromising that. You're not compromising that. That's what I'm getting. All right, so... Let's begin, all right? Where is my... Oil? Let me bring my oil up. All right, so... My hands are not dry, guys. It's just, I don't know why they sound like that but they're not dry i have soft hands actually like very very soft hands um so scorp let's let's get your crystal like i said it before two came out for you well not for you but two came out as i was <gasps> Getting your messages together, okay? So we're going to see what type of energy is required or what type of energy you are in or what type of energy you are traveling towards. I'm also getting with this no, this no, don't look back, no, stay balanced. I feel like, again, your past person could possibly want to travel back to you. But what I'm picking up is that this past person has a lot of colors to them that they haven't accept it or that they haven't um came to terms with it's like they're like hiding a part of themselves scorpio has the number eight within their card in the corner i feel like scorpio is is like putting an end to something they're they're again Getting down to the root of something. All right, the number eight. 
represents balance between materialistic and spirituality. So again, I believe Scorpio is in transformation from a particular type of lifestyle that they were dealing with due to the past. Again, I believe old and new, old and new, old and new, old and new. But Scorpio is going to be tested to see if they have truly learned their lesson. That's why I believe someone new is being presented to Scorpio as a test to see if they have truly learned and to see if they are really, 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 really. Scorpio, your new direction could shock a lot of people. Your new direction, people's response could be like, really? But in a good way, like, really? I didn't know type of like response. That's all I'm getting. All right. So let's, let's see what the crystal energy looking like. Oh, right on the money. We have a winner. <clears throat> We're just going to put these crystals over here because currently my sage. Oh, I got another message for you, Scorp. So for some reason, I was directed to empty out my sage bowl. So my sage bowl has nothing in it. It is clean, it is empty, it is renewed, it, it is fresh, and it simply only has your particular energy in it right now. So, Scorpio, I believe that if there were a few people within your connection that was unwanted, I believe, again, you have gotten rid of that. You have clenched your energy. You have left. You have disappeared. So I'm getting... Okay. What I'm getting is my red jasper and my pink horse. But what's screaming more to me is red. Ooh, no, that's not. Wait a minute. In my mind, pink horse is screaming. But what came out is red jasper. Okay, this is what I'm picking up. All right, Scorp. You could have love within your heart. You could want to project love. Especially if this is my pink course, it has something to do with this new. Because pink course attracts love for self and for others, friendships, communications, good luck, and nurturing. Okay, so I believe that someone new is nurturing towards you, Scorpio, if this is the pink quartz, okay? Now, if this is the red jasper, I believe that you are upset. Even though you are traveling towards calmer waters, you are still upset with how everything went down. Or you are dealing with a lot of different personalities that are strong within your energy or within your surroundings. It's a lot of aggression within your environment or your surroundings or it has been if this is the red jasper but because red jasper came out of my mouth Because red jasper came out of my mouth, again, you feel love 
That's what I truly feel. I feel like you feel love. You feel love. Or someone is showing you love. You walked away. So I believe that because that came out like that, someone else is angry or upset that you're not coming back. I get you're not coming back. I'm going to say this is my pink course. That's, that's what I'm getting. Because I feel love. Yeah. Love. Now, this could also mean, though, you still have love for the past person, but a different kind of love. What I'm getting is that this particular message is going to be about new. I feel like what I picked up was... Kind of like a pre-screening of what's expected, what's new. It was like a story of your energy you were in. And how you are traveling from that particular energy to a more healthier energy. I feel like someone in your life, Scorpio, or someone is going to be coming within your life and they're going to kind of rejuvenate you along with yourself rejuvenating you, if that makes sense. All right, so let's see how many. Oh, snap. All right, you just only left one. So what I'm getting with this is that you want to give this new person all your love because I feel like this person is showing you that they are true, they are honest, and that they are loving. They are presenting someone that you always wanted. It's like you would be okay with just keeping one thing because you trust this new person. That's what I'm getting. I feel like I feel like even though you have been through difficult lessons, you still haven't put love all the way out the window. And I, and I feel like this is what I'm getting too. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So I feel like friends, there is someone you is going to be friends with someone. You guys are going to be super, super tight. It is going to be, it's like, you are going to do everything with this friend or like, like you and this friend is going to develop a lot of love between you two. This is going to be a really good friendship, but it's like something else that you want to add to the pot. With this friendship. Like I said. I feel like you want to give. All your love to this person. Because of what type of person they is. Or what they present to you. But it's something else. That you want to give them. Maybe there's a friend right. And because you like this friend so much. And you guys are so much in sync. With each other. You want to like give. Or step this up. Is this person already up in your energy, Scorpio? Because I feel like this person is new, but they're in your energy. So, yeah, uh, only one didn't come out. So, 
I definitely feel like you want to give your like all to this person. It's like you have one more go of love in you and you taking a chance on this person or you will take a chance on this person. That's what I'm getting. All right, scores. So again, Scorpio, you have put your venom into something. And do you know what else, too? I feel like. I'm like getting like some type of revenge type of energy as well. I feel like something is going to rule in your favor, Scorpio. I feel like you got something cooking up. I feel like someone probably takes your kindness for weakness or they probably take what you can do as light work. And whatever you are fit to do, Scorpio, it is not light work. It is like you are going to prove yourself or show whomever you need to show that they messed with the wrong person and that they should never did what they did. Because what I see is vengeance, but vengeance as far as receiving good karma. What this is also representing to me is that someone stabbed you. Do you know what I just picked up, Scorpio? You could have possibly been dealing with another Scorpio because this Scorpio looks like they have been stabbed with their own stinger. Didn't I pick up earlier that there was someone like you, but not like you? It was like your opposite, right? So if you are dating another Scorpio, they are your... Nemesis. <laughs> they are your dark side. You are the light side. And they stabbed you up. But you're like taking it like a champ. You're like, oh yeah. Okay. Let me just go ahead and um ease this on up out, man. Um I'm gonna deal with you. That's the type of energy that I'm getting from the Scorpio. <laughs> But yeah, I must definitely see vengeance. And if it's two Scorpios, that's a lot of um, a lot of energy. It can get kind of hectic. So I hope that someone takes a higher route. And I do believe that the Scorpio that I'm talking to is going to take that higher route. But you are still going to get something done. Maybe it's something legal. It's like something is going to get handled, Scorpio. Like something is definitely going to rule in your favor, okay? And people thinking that it's not going to rule in your favor, but you have something, all right? You have something that is solid, and it is going to carry you to where you need to be to get the results that you deserve, all right? So all of these people that are laughing and talking mess and saying that, all oh, he or she thinks that they have this and the bag, you do. You do. It's just they will find out once everything takes place of how silly it was to um, count you out. Okay, Scorp. 
So, first and foremost, we are going to get all of these over here. All right. So, I have to actually get some more bag size. guys so we're going to see what we're going to be talking about today squirt um what else i got what's this okay So I do have my Egyptian deck, so we definitely want to tap into that. That was want to come out. And emotions. Answers and emotions. So all right guys, so we have out the relationship deck. We have out the question deck. We have out the zodiac deck. We have out the answers deck and we have out the emotions deck, okay? So we are going to see what we're going to be talking about today, score, all right? So no for the answers deck, but we are still going to keep this deck out because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this deck. All right. So just so you guys saw that that was a no. All right, next. So it didn't hit anything, but it did land in front of Zodiacs, but it didn't hit anything. No for the questions, all right? It bounced right on it. And it's a no for that one. And let's proceed. It's a no for the relationship. Okay. No for the relationship. <laughs> no for the zodiac. No for the zodiac. And last but certainly not least, the emotions. It didn't hit nothing. All right, guys. So. It had two no's and one yes, all right, but it did not land on it. So what I'm getting is that Scorpio really doesn't, they don't really want to pinpoint anything. Nah, they don't want to pinpoint anything. Scorpio, I'm going to do something different with you, Scorpio. My Egyptian cards is over here. All right. I feel like Scorpio wants to do a pick a card. 
But a pick a card. That is handly, divinely guided for them. They don't have a question. They don't have any answers that they won't answer it. Scorpio want a sign. That's what they want. Scorpio want a sign. It's symbols on one of their stingers. All right. Someone's name could start with a J. There's a J within one particular symbol. And there's a um, half-shaped moon as well. So, phases. Scorpio is going through phases. So, I feel like Scorpio wants a sign. Alright, Scorp. We're going to get a sign. But a sign of what? The bottom of the deck. The world. Alright. 21. You could have received your sign when you was 21. You could be 21 right now. Do you know what I'm getting? Lessons. I feel this way, Scorp. I feel like the sign that you are seeking involves your world, your particular world, okay? Three. 21 breaks down into three. Three represents harmony, teamwork, okay? Again, I feel like this past person that was in your energy. You were given the wrong sign with that particular energy. And with this new energy, you want a sign that is the right direction, the right way. Because I do feel like you do have an opportunity for two paths, all right? The path of protection with this new person. And then it's like the path of like kind of fiery activity. Because behind this world is the devil. And, uh, but... Again, the devil represents change as well, but also the devil represents being having a lot of devious uh, traits to you. And I do believe that this past person holds that type of energy because behind the devil is three of cups. The three that is broken down from 21 harmony and peace and teamwork which i believe represents the new and why i believe this represents the new is because you have clarity within something it's like you have become wiser you have picked up all of your senses and you are utilizing them to their full ability. And one more behind that is judgment. I believe you 
definitely have called judgment with this past situation, all right? Because this past situation, again, presented that it was loyal, but it wasn't loyal. It was fake. And phases. This was a phase that you had to come out of. And I do believe that you have come out of it. Or you are going to. Alright. That was a quickie, okay? Because that's, that's what I'm feeling like the past energy is about. Quickies. Trying to make things better. But not like it's it's like your past person has a way of um, maneuvering through issues by being intimate. If that makes sense, they know how to sway you. And I do believe that you caught on to that Scorpio. So. We fit a sea sport. Three pals here, Scorp, okay? Hmm. Three, three, three. All right, so what we're going to do is see which pal you choose. And whatever pal you choose, that will be your sign of what you need to do. So, So it looks like you are leaning towards the top. All right. We're going to use these as clear. So now. Now that we have your deck, right? You want to spread this deck out. And we're going to see which card wants to speak to you, Scorp. And that's going to be your sign. So, 
and see Scorp. Let's see what your sign is going to be. Ooh. So we have two, all right? So you have two signs, all right? And we're gonna pick those two up. So as you see, those two are up, all right? Now, I'm gonna set those aside. And we're also gonna use these as clarifications cards, all right? Let's take a look, shall we? So, the first card that came out for you is Nine of Swords, okay? It came out in reverse. What I get from this Nine of Swords is that you felt probably a sense of trappedness or suffocation at a time all right what this is letting me know is that you are no longer within that energy that you are coming out of the energy of being stuck you are coming out of the energy of being breadcrumbed or given enough I also feel like, Scorpio, you had to kind of swallow your pride or bow down to a very egotistic type of energy. You had to bow down to someone that was not even deserving of praise. It's like this person was someone who demonstrated low of the low traits, but wanted the high of the high praises. And that's not how things work around you. Mm -mm. All right. What I'm also getting is that you was probably kept like caged. Like you was probably kept in the house a lot. Um, maybe someone felt like they owned you. Or it's like kind of a sense of possession. It's, it's like they wanted to possess you. They wanted to have sole control over how you move, what you do, what you eat, what you drink, how you dress, where you go, who you with. Like they wanted control over everything. And you were submissive to this person in the past. But that's no more. I feel like, again, Scorpio, if this has something to do with, with your past, you have broken free of that particular energy. You know your worth. You know what you deserve. You know that humans are not supposed to treat humans like this. No human is supposed to own another human. No human is supposed to dictate another human's life and what they do and how they act. You know that that's, this is not right behavior. So you have released yourself. It's like now you are able to walk on the earth. It's like I get your, your feet only new carpet and hardwood floors. It's like now your feet can experience earth I feel like someone wanted to put you in a grounding state like they wanted you to be structured a specific way in the past but that's no more. You have found your voice again. And, and I feel like this particular energy is no more. What also came out for you in reverse is Knight of Swords. I believe that in the past there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of chaos. There was a lot of fighting, okay? Um... 
Knight of Swords represent a knight, someone who is a fighter, someone that does not give up easily, someone that will push back if you push on them. I feel like that's your energy. I feel like someone who was in your energy in the past was very vicious. It was like no holds barred. I feel like, again, there was no compromising with this person. I feel like you would bend to the will of this person because you didn't really want no smoke. It's like, okay, whatever. Even though you are brave, you have that fight in you. It's like you just didn't want to deal with all of that extra mess you just really just wanted a peaceful coexistent with this person but this person i believe has a lot of anger in them that they haven't dealt with i feel like this person has a lot of rage within them that they haven't dealt with as well but this energy is no more like i said you have moved on i feel like you have eliminated this particular type of energy you have removed yourself from this particular type of energy this person from the past could even potentially try to come back in your life or they could potentially still be trying to mess with you but again i feel like you are taking the higher road you're not letting this particular energy get you out of character anymore that's what i'm getting with this I want to get one more. I did see that. Four of coins. I feel like at this time, because you are choosing the higher road, you are focusing on more important aspects of your life. I do believe that a lot of financial beneficial situations is going to present itself to you, Scorpio. I do feel like you are going to make something out of nothing. Um, I do feel like you are... You are wiser. You you know what's important nowadays to you. And you know what deserves your energy nowadays. Again, I feel like you are in, a, in the energy of being more wiser, Scorpio. I feel like you have grown a lot. I feel like you have been through a lot of lessons that have taught you a lot of valuable things that you are taking with you now. And you are applying it within your life. Red could be a color that you really, really like. Red represents passion, love. At this state, in this particular energy, I feel like you are at a state of love. Red also represents war and anger, but this particular energy seems at peace. This particular energy seems like they are utilizing their energy in the best light. All right, so I most definitely feel like you are radiating love, Scorpio. So, yeah, I most definitely feel like you are not entertaining negative old energies. You are transforming your environment. You are transforming yourself. And because you are doing that, it is attracting your, your true energies that are supposed to be within your energy. What I'm also getting is that you are protecting your finances as well. Or you regain your finances. I believe that if it has something to do with this past situation, something was taken from you. But you regained it back or you have regained your sense of stability back, especially in your finance department. All right.
But again, I'm getting love with this color. Love for self. Love for your new environment. I get you are grateful. Grateful was at the top of the emotion deck. I want to get your emotion. Because this particular energy does look very, very satisfied. Very, very happy. Very, very pleased. I do feel like you you are going to relocate again. I feel like your newfound environment also brings you some type of peace or it is going to. I fit my shoulders feel Kind of heavy as well, Scorpio. I feel like if you are stressed about something, because what I'm also getting, Scorpio, is that maybe because I have stated that you left quietly, maybe like you, like it's kind of like, um hiding too or or like maybe you're like keeping a low profile because you like I get you got a lot of stuff on your back or like you have a lot of stress you have a lot of tension it's like you 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 need to relax So, if you haven't moved, I do believe that moving or relocating is in your future. And I do believe that it could do with safety as well. Um, just making sure you are safe. Making sure that you are in the best environment. That's what I'm getting. So that is also a possibility for you, relocating. All right, I wanna get your emotion. What is Scorpio's emotion? like you are also getting your health in check Scorpio yeah I have Scorpio's emotion honor excellent and discipline at the bottom of the deck excellent I'm going to take that and Played. I want to take that as well. Loyalty is very, very big to Scorpio. So I do believe that loyalty plays some type of role in their decision on moving forward. I feel like they are being loyal to themselves and being loyal and honest about their experiences, that's what I'm getting mostly about is their experience. Their experiences was not the best. And I get that they just do not want that to repeat itself. So again, we have honor here. They have a lot of honor about themselves right now. And I feel like they're not going to take anything less. They are very disciplined right now as far as their movements in the direction that they want to go. They are disciplined in the energies that they want within their energy. They're not playing around. Again, Scorpio been through some things. And they have realized that 
That's not what they want, and that's not what they deserve, and that is not going to happen to them again. So they are being very disciplined and very smart in how they are moving. And again, like I said, they've been through some. And I definitely believe that it has something to do with this past person, all right? What I'm getting with this honor, too, is that Scorpio feels honored to be in the presence of whomever this new person is. Because what I'm getting again is that there is someone new. And this could be someone that is going to be a really good friend to Scorpio. But again, I feel like there's a little bit more there. All right. And five, five, when I said I think there's a little bit more there. So there could be a an exciting new change within this friendship. If this friendship has not developed yet, it is going to develop into a good friendship. And um, someone within that friendship has a little bit of extra that they would like to present. All right. So that's what I'm getting for Scorpio so far. I will be doing a part two, okay? Because we are going to be looking more into this um, honor and this discipline and this play, okay? And if I'm right, which nine times out of ten, I am. I think that... Um, Scorpio is going to be developing an awesome, healthy friendship with someone that is very honorable. Like, this person is honorable. I get Scorpio feels honored. They feel honored. It's like they have come from feeling played to feeling honored. Okay. And it's because they put themselves first. All right. They was disciplined about this player energy. And because they were disciplined about this energy it's like they are being rewarded with a new energy that is honorable well okay then scorpio well that's how you do it boo that's how you get what you want you gotta make improvements you gotta make movements and you gotta stand on it and that's exactly what you're doing you standing on it. And because you standing on all of this negative experiences, negative just situation is just a situation of just negativity. Because you have stood on not accepting particular energies in particular situations like this Scorpio you fit to get everything that you have always wanted and I say you need to give yourself some props all right because you have shed it that old Self, you have shed that old skin that you once walked in. It is no more. All right, Scorp. So, job well done with step number one with self making proper movements for improvement of self. I'm proud of you, Scorp. So, I'll be back with part two and we're gonna see. What's brewing? You feel me? I'm Black Swan, and this is Black Swan's Way. And thank you, Scorpio, for your presence. And this has been part one, and I'm going to see you in part two.
soralım. 